Hey guys, Redstone Without Limits here with another video, and today we're doing <coughs> uh, another fractal video, believe it or not. Um, and this one, instead of being in Python, this is in C Sharp. So, I mean, I just uh, started learning C Sharp about a week ago, and I decided I wanted to do something kind of uh, interesting. So, uh, well, let, let's just go ahead and try this out. Um, so whenever you load it up, it loads it up maximized, and there's a few options down here that you can choose from. Uh, so first of all, you got to set the detail level up a little bit higher than just zero, or else it won't show up at all. Um, let's turn up the radius, and then you can click to put it wherever you want. <coughs> so. Uh, there's an option over here, it's called the alter alteration of pi. Right now, this is at 1 pi. Um, and I'll show you what that means in a minute. Uh, so then if we turn it up to 3 pi, we get something like this, because if you turn it to 2 pi, it doesn't do anything, because it's it's just trying to draw a circle, but it's nothing showing up. Um, <coughs> now this is 3 pi right here. Uh, so what we get from this is a, a type of Mandelbrot. So it's it's really interesting to see this. Um, we can also increase the radius, so this will basically zoom in. If you can see that. <coughs> now if we turn up the level of detail, some cool things um, start to happen. So we start to get uh, lines that are a lot closer together. And also, you start to see a flickering effect, um, which is probably more on my side. It's more of a problem uh, because of what I've done, done and how I've constructed this program. Um, I could have ran some stuff in some threads, and it probably would have ran a lot smoother. So, um, so if we change the alteration of pi, we get uh, certain patterns. We get this. Um, we can get three, four, uh, five, six. You know, all all the way up here to where we get we get this nice pattern here. Um, it, it's it's just a really cool program uh, that you can mess with and just see what you can make. Um, I'm. I'm going to put uh, links in the description for this 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 download, and um, there'll be a exe, or if you choose to, there can be an uh, an installer. So we're just going to zoom in over here. We're going to be able to see this. So yeah, it, it makes a nice uh, curve, and it, it's just uh, interesting how to see this. Um, how this happens, uh, but we're gonna take a, we're gonna take a look at the code for those of you that want to see that. Um, so let's first look at the form. Uh, we have an empty form, and that just has our options. And also, a thing that I didn't mention was the background color. So you can change the background color to whatever you want. Um, which is uh, that aqua color is kind of obnoxious. Let's try a gray color. Yeah, that looks nice. Um, but yeah, we're gonna look at, look at the code. So this is just uh, all this. You know, all these are laid out in certain event handlers. So what we have here is we have all of our variables being defined. Uh, so our x1 and x2. Um, our alteration, which is uh, messing with pi. So it's it's changing what the value of pi is in the second uh, x. Um, the x offset and y offset is just changing what axis you're on, so that's how we were able to click and then move it over. Um, we have an offset. I was using that at some point, or was using it uh, initially, but I stopped using it um, at the moment. I don't know why I have it in there. We have the radius, which can be changed um, from a, a event down here. Um, so right here, we have the, the actual code. 
which defines a as 0 and x1 and x2 uh, and x1 or uh, y1 and y2 as 0. So that's uh, that's how that's working. And then um, right here we have a while statement. It originally, it was just going to draw a circle and then uh, complete it. Um, but I didn't do that. And instead, um, what I did, as you can see, this is the parametric equation for a circle. Um, cosine of 2 times pi times a. Uh, and then we have the radius over here. Um, but instead of doing that, I decided to uh, try to alter pi in the second equation. So this would draw a line from that and it's 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 a little weird uh, because whenever you make it 2 pi they're both the same so it doesn't draw anything um, so that that's that's kind of how that works um, right here we have the draw line so this is just drawing a line from any two points and we have the x and y offsets down here um, down here is where we are able to um, change certain things. So we have a uh, you know, track bar, we have a track bar too. I, I didn't really name these because I wasn't very creative with the names, but uh, hopefully you can forgive me for that. So this is changing the offset uh, uh, across what would be a Z axis, but it's not, it's not a Z axis. But, um, now we have the color, so this is getting the button click of, um, or it's uh, going to give you the dialog, the color dialog, uh, right there. We have the track bar, which controls the level of detail. And I have it times eight, just so you're not trying to scroll on it for uh, too long. Um, right here we have the track bar four, which is changing what value of pi is in the second parametric equation. Um, we have uh, the, the drawing. Uh, this is uh, to get whenever the mouse is hovering. So that's, that's the coordinates up in the top right hand corner. Um, right here we have uh, mouse down. So this will get an event whenever the mouse is clicked somewhere and then it'll get uh, the position of the cursor at that moment. So that is that's all for this video. I may or may not make an update for this, uh, depending on if I find some kind of optimization, something to get rid of the flickering that happens like that. Um, but yeah, if you have any comments or questions, go ahead and leave them in the uh, comment section below. If you like this video, then go ahead and hit that subscribe button, and I will surely appreciate that. Um, but yeah, I will see you in the next video.